So recently I did a reaction to a video you guys probably saw. Uh, and that video was about James Sapphire, a supposed looks maxing bone smasher Mew Master who got facial surgery to make himself look more Chad like. Um, there's a documentary that a documentary video essay really uh, by this guy called DC one that I watched on stream. You guys probably saw this either live or you saw that I clipped it on the channel because it turned into kind of its own little video. Now, during the video, I had a hard time believing a lot of what was being claimed. If we look here, you can see there's my reaction right there. This is the original video by DC one. I had a hard time believing a lot of what was being claimed. Like for example, that he was actually smashing his face in with a hammer to like look better. I don't know. It, it just, it seemed like too much of a troll to be real, right? It seemed like too much of a troll to be real. Well, James Sapphire has decided to respond to the initial video. And I guess he's, he's, uh, I guess he's discounting a lot of what this guy says. I guess he disagrees with him. Now, James Sapphire and a few other people also sent me some DMs saying that video, meaning this video was filled with lies and it's bad and all this, and he's going to do a follow up. So I didn't respond to any of them directly because I just, I didn't want to be like involved with them. If they want to come on stream and talk about stuff, I guess they're welcome to really just James. I don't want to talk to any of his friends, um, but I would talk to James on stream if he wanted to, but I'm very curious about what he's going to say in this video that may refute this DC one video. Now he also posted, there's two videos on this channel. The first one is this it says James Sapphire, the truth, 2024 DC one defamatory lore video, deception, all lies proof. Uh, here we have lies, deception, not true. None of it all false made to ruin our reputation even more. Make me out to be a monster. I'm not report his video and let everyone in the comments know that this is defamatory and was created to tarnish my likeness and image even more than it already has been. This is the truth and the man behind the video. So yeah, it seems like there's uh it seems like there's some drama brewing right now. Now, if we look here, we see this kind of schizophrenic edit with a bunch of DMs. So here we have, I'll bone smash your face. Uh, I don't know what that says. Lol, are you unemployed? Unemployed till I die because of people like you who want to pick apart my entire life. Somebody told me you worked at Dollar Store. Yeah, I did that shit and quit. What year did you work there? No timeline. Give me a timeline of your life after 2020. Why would I help you in your video when you don't want to, when I don't want this shit to even be made? Oh, I'm going to make you look like an insane poop eating racist psychopath. So I guess he's saying that this is the guy that made the video. The guy who made the video said he was going to make him look like an insane poop eating racist psychopath. That is, uh, that is the claim being made here, which is a very unique claim, I will say. Not something you see every day. Certainly not something you see every day, chat. Oh, I'm going to make you look like an insane poop eating racist psychopath. So we've got that DM. Spread lies and get 10k plus views on your video, but my bro, and this is what you got playing in the background. Bet you ain't mean to show it. And here we have, uh, it looks like here there's like gay porn or something in the background. James Sapphire, my wife. Dylan claims I'm LGBTQ plus and has this in his camera roll, clearly projecting. I don't swing that way personally, but all respect to those who do, just very hypocritical, not gonna lie. He go and cap and say it for a video. He ain't even deny it either, according to my friend. Shout out to Joe for the screenshot, I'm dead. So I guess he's he's basically just accusing the other guy of being gay now. Uh, Something, how I ain't post vids or do, I can't, this is like hard to read. This is so schizophrenic. Do you renounce your eating and drinking your own piss? Freak, you're strange. It was Ben and Jerry chocolate chip ice cream, Minute Maid, Lemonade. Okay, cool. That's clarification there. Did you actually try to, did your mother actually try to something you? Uh, how do you respond to people saying you popularize looks maxing? I experienced abuse from a young age, but not from my mother. Stop trying to interview me. I already said enough. I don't want to be in your documentary. Why are you even trying to do this? I made it my wish to not have you make a whole documentary and yet you keep pushing it to not respect me. Do you stand by these statements? Delete this. Margot Robbie is a woman. You're tweaked out. How badly were you bullied? I was in psychosis there, believing every single little conspiracy theory on the planet. I would go on bitch you for hours and look at the most bizarre shit, like chemtrails and putting humans in food. Crazy. From what I hear, it was crippling for you. Leave me alone. I'm going to block you. I don't understand why why James didn't just block him off the bat. Like, if he don't, doesn't want to talk. Like, if I don't want to talk to someone, I'm not going to keep having a conversation with them indefinitely, right? I'm just going to block them off the bat. So why does he why does he keep engaging with this person? And I think as we'll, as we'll move later on, we'll see that James, while there may be some misconceptions about him, he's not a very mentally well person. And I think um, it'd probably be best for him to just not be online anymore because this just doesn't seem to be doing all well for him. Now, this DC one guy is somewhat of a scumbag as James claims. I mean, that's also interesting development. He should be criticized for that. But realistically, if you're a public figure, like you can't have a problem with people talking about what you did. You can have a problem with people falsely reporting it or misreporting it or something like that, but you can't just have a like like a problem up front with someone talking about your existence. That's ridiculous, right? Is that from when you were on meth? I'm a fan, James, genuinely. You're a little weirdo. I think your lore is super interesting. There's no lore. Someone who claims that used to be friends with you on Discord says the biggest looks back maxing post you made about finding the site surgery and what is fake is not true. If you don't want more clout and attention, how do you plan to support yourself other than being a social media person? You're pretty much up any other avenue for you to have a normal life and job. You don't know. You're lucky. I don't know you. 
uh, in real life, I guess he's saying here. Like, he's gonna be this maybe? Is that what it is? I, I can't really tell what this says. You said you despise working minimum wage, but that seems like your only other option. This is, I doubt your financial situation is great. I don't care about my finances. I'll go broke and be homeless and inject meth for all I care. What period were you on meth and what time did you get sober? I got nothing to lose anymore. I don't like hearing that. This isn't going to be a negative video. Well, it was somewhat of a negative video for sure. Um, okay, so we've got all these DMs between them where they're just going back and forth. He's asking him questions. James doesn't want to answer, but then keeps answering for some reason. I, I can't fathom why, but he ended up making a video uh, responding to the, you know, the video by DC1 about him. It's 43 minutes long, so it's it's quite long, and he looks surprisingly normal here. It almost looks like he doesn't even have surgery at all. Big shocker, big surprise. Maybe he never even got surgery, but I'm curious what he has to say in this video. How about, the, how about that prick's face when he saw James Sapphire? Good meme, say, let's thank you for the five, buddy. I think this guy might be disgruntled. Yes, I would probably agree with you. Um... Yeah. Fanatic beta. Everybody already knows the sketch X story. Go away. Ithalidomide was sick running into you. Ithalidomide for five was sick running into you in Houston. It was nice meeting you, bro. Very normal looking guy to walk for watching my videos, okay? I will say very normal looking human. Handsome. Got like a like a normal, cute girlfriend. Not fed up. I have this expectation in my mind that when I meet you guys in real life, you're going to be like me. But instead, he was just a normal ass dude. It was nice meeting you, dude. Take it easy. Um, he he. This guy ran into me when I was... <laughs> I was doing a video with with, uh, with Pow Envy. You guys know Pow Envy, right? Um, this guy... I made a video about him. The, crust, the, the crusty Roblox streamer. Yeah, yeah, this guy. I was filming a video with him in Houston. Are you from Houston? No, I'm not. Um, I was filming a video with him in Houston, like literally, like, I think it was yesterday. I saw, I met, I met, I met this guy from chat. Um, but I was filming a video with him and this guy walks up and he's like, Hey, Hey Tom, I love your videos. I'm like, Oh, thanks man. And the, and pal, pal was like, Oh, you know me? And the guy's like, yeah, I know you're from TikTok. And then pal's like, what's my name? And the guy goes world of t-shirts. And I didn't know if the guy was with him or if he genuinely just didn't know like who this guy was, but Pow did not like that because world of t-shirts is genuinely an autistic person and Pow is like i mean he's he's like a little bit of a freak but he's not like that insane you know he's he's sort of more self-aware um he just doesn't clean his room and plays league all day right like that's the difference and so <laughs> Pow got kind of mad and then he starts asking he asked this guy for like 50 bucks for a photo it was it was based and then he said the guy said and then I thought him, I goes, no. And then pal's like, okay, 25. But yeah, it was, a, it was nice meeting you, bro. Anyway, back to the video. Uh, I'm, I'm curious what James Sapphire has to say here. Might have played this on two times speed or something, but yeah. I hate to be making a, a video like this under um, these circumstances, but I know uh, deep down it's the right thing to do for myself, others, and just for everyone's sake and the whole situation. Um, it came to light of me recently um, that some people have been making videos about me. And All right, two times speed already. Jesus, James. Well, we'll start with one, one and a half. How's that? <laughs> I'm just here to address all that and clear some stuff up because it's gotten quite out of hand. It's not what I want to be known for and I made some bad choices and here I am. <sighs> yeah, I'm the guy who is known as, you know, can't even say the name. But, Give her the five blank, that's super impressive. Keep going with the weightlifting, man. Yeah, unfortunately, that's me, dude, it was me. Um, I've always just been misguided my whole life and abused and I've gone through so much. It's honestly hard to talk about and I don't know how many views this video is going to get in like, I don't know, all these people are making these videos on me, but my videos don't get any views, but I don't know, it doesn't really care. At least, you know, some people know the truth. Um, the guy who made that documentary, um, I begged him for like three hours not to make it and I was visibly upset and I just probably said some that I shouldn't have and that was totally my bad and my responsibility. I take full accountability for that and I shouldn't have said those words and 
I don't know, just under a lot of distress. I mean, this guy comes in, he says he knows all this stuff about me. He's going to be making this video and he only has a couple thousand subscribers. Or, you know, you know. Um, but yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I guess for me, the... The issue here, once again, is like, if you're a public figure in some way, I don't think you can have a problem with people talking about you in general. You can beg them and, and, and like, and like plead with them not to talk about, you know, not to talk about you or make a video about you. But realistically, uh, you, you can't really have a, you, you can't really have a valid complaint there if you're already putting yourself out there. Now, that being said, if James was horribly misrepresented in the video or there's lies in it, which James can prove or something like that. That'll be interesting to see. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like there's a lot of screenshots in this video. Then again, I mean, it could be a situation where he's trying to prove a, a you know a negative, basically. Um, it's kind of hard. It's, it's kind of hard to have proof for something that didn't happen, right? Um, but yeah, I mean, realistically, I kind of suspected a lot of the James stuff was exaggerated from the beginning. I think he exaggerated a lot of it himself, and maybe got out of hand, and now he has a lot of regrets over it. But um. Yeah, Mogami was an instant classic. I actually like that song, yeah. I hadn't even heard that song before I did the reaction the other day. And Mogami is actually a great song. He doesn't look like an alien anymore. I don't know if he ever did. I feel like it might have just been Photoshop. I don't know. He doesn't look like he has any... Uh... He doesn't look like he has, he has any facial surgery or anything. His background looks like a freshman girl's dorm. Dude, I know. I Believe me horrible flashbacks the tapestry is dark the lighting is dark how do i send super chats uh, i think you just did it thank you for the 10 buddy i appreciate it but yeah dude when i was in college this oh my god this is a dark a dark vision okay this is a dark vision um believe it or not i saw the inside of a few girls dorm rooms i did not fuck any girls in college but I saw the inside of a few of their dorm rooms and uh they all look exactly like this exactly like this exactly like this so awesome all right we're gonna keep watching this video and uh, yeah if you've seen the other video you'll see that he purposely made that to make me out to be a quote-unquote racist eating psychopath i believe um which yeah that i mean that dm read pretty badly because on one hand he's like it's not gonna be a negative video and then he's also like i'm gonna make you out to be a racist eating psychopath i mean i feel like if you're making any video you probably shouldn't have like a, a an agenda going into it um i don't think you should have like a plan for what you want it to be as far as like what the outcome is going to be um now you can have a thesis you can have an idea but you shouldn't like build everything from the research phase around that you need to research first get the story straight and then you can have your your conclusion or whatever your final thoughts are and stuff like that because if you have a predetermined message you want to go for then you're just going to pull things that already fit that narrative and then you're going to have an inaccurate video right you're going to have a bad story is not who i am at all and that's not who i want to be and what are you doing in there tom uh unironically my freshman year of college i have vivid memories of me me and my 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 really one college buddy although i guess at the time there was like three of us that were friends um we were just really bored so we would knock on girls dorms and we would show them filthy frank videos this is not even a joke this is something we actually did i, I i'm i'm torn between if it's cringe or base at this point but that is literally what we were doing. Uh, <laughs> we were showing them like hair cake and they were like gagging, trying to get us to leave. Um, yeah, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was funny. Most of that stuff was, I say it. Unfortunately, there were some truths to the matter regarding a lot of these videos, but it was mostly a lot of lies, and I'm here to debunk this. Um, first off, I didn't eat my That's weird and gross on my shower. I never drank my piss. It was literally Ben and Jerry's and Minute Maid Lemonade. And uh, it's very odd to me uh, looking at this uh, community and this side of the internet. It seems like um, these people can't quite grasp this, like the concept of what satire is and irony. Um, you know, what started as a whole joke, dude, it evolved into a something that's took over most of my life and i really dedicated the past year to uh changing that and trying to fix that i've been in and out of mental health facilities i've had to go through like four okay so i guess my not that i'm a super genius for thinking this because like i feel like anybody who's reasonable would suspect this but i don't think it's that crazy to <laughs> to think that maybe he didn't actually eat 
maybe a lot of it was you know satirical but also if you're complaining about like satire and irony stuff and people not understanding it like to an extent i get being mad but also like you wanted people to think that right like you did you did want some people to be in on the joke and then also part of the joke behind satire is some people don't get it and that's part of what makes it really funny to me anyway i don't think satire should be the most obvious thing in the world i think it's particularly funny when some people in the audience don't get it they don't understand if it's a joke or not they don't get what your intention is i think that's really funny and so to an extent i think that's what james wanted at the time for sure um and now he's unfortunately paying the consequences because now a bunch of people think he actually ate poop um which sucks but to an extent, he did it to himself. It's very sad to hear that he, uh, it's very, very sad to hear that, you know, he's been in and out of mental health facilities over the past year. I guess this stuff kind of backfired on his life and had a very negative effect on him, which is, which is, which is sad to hear. You know, I hope he gets better. I would probably say that being online is probably not going to be the best for him. Um, I mean, realistically, he doesn't even look like, I mean, if you look at him here versus, you know, the crazy images we've seen of him. Um, he doesn't even look like the same person. So it's not like in public he's going to get recognized as James Sapphire or something, right? Like there's there's just no way. Um, so realistically, I think it, it would probably be best for him to just like get offline and go do his own thing, you know, be a normal person. Um, if he really wants to escape this thing, if he wants to relive it time and time again and try to debunk it, he can cho choose, you know, he, he can choose to do that. But it's going to be kind of a tumultuous path for someone with mental health issues. <laughs> Congrats, Mouse Butter. Thank you, Hexel, for becoming a member. Ben and Jerry's Chocolate Chip Top Keck. Brandon Herrera, Donkey Lady Bridge. Very true, Mustafa. What's up, bro? Thank you, that guy. Thank you, Snowbird. Thank you, Jaden. <laughs> Watching all the new vids. Really love your style. I only have $40 on my checking, so I hope you're smarter with money than I... G okay. Red, if you have $40 in your checking, I appreciate the money, but do not send me half of your money okay make some money please and send, send me money when your money's up i that makes me feel bad i don't feel good knowing that you just emptied half of your checking account on my super chat don't do that or different but also go broke for me therapist and psychiatrists and all that stuff dude and like um and i have gotten a lot better i have recovered a lot from any of the drugs and I'm a lot more coherent and a better person. I mean, I still have trauma and side effects. Like, it's hard. It's hard to even talk about this, dude. Like, but I know I got to do it. And <laughs> Man. I don't even know, dude. This is so. I'd say when, like, a couple days after my 17th birthday, I was put in a lot of emotional distress. And I'm just going to be completely honest with you guys. Um, My uh, my mom, my biological mother gave me um, crystal methamphetamine. I don't know if you guys know what that is, but it's a uh, stimulant. And Jesus. It, yeah, it's like the king of amphetamines. And I went into like pretty severe psychosis. His mom gave him meth? What is going on? His mother gave him meth? Is he on something? I don't think right now, but he looks like he's... Just tweaking a little bit, having a hard time talking about this stuff. I was like seeing demons and um, hearing stuff, delusional, and um, I almost stuck uh, myself, and I almost died if uh, if the Xanax and all the other stuff I took like was laced, or if I took more, uh, I probably would not be here right now. And um, the crystal meth, I believe, was laced. I'm not sure if some form of analog PCP or something did, but it wasn't real. Like it was, it was not clean, and. Uh, I unfortunately had to deal with the side effects and consequences for months afterward. And that's whenever I did the whole TikTok stuff. And I had no access to mental health treatment or services. Okay, so he's saying that the impetus for his entire internet career is that his mom gave him meth and he then went psychotic and had like no respect for himself. That is crazy. That is... We're gonna keep watching. Over five and a half, almost six months after that overdose, like uh, probably over twenty hits of the uh, the ice pipe, and uh, yeah, I I did not go to the hospital. I mean, I was like, blood was dripping out of my face. I was like infected, dude. I uh, unfortunately had demons within me telling me I needed to cut myself, and I'm lucky to be alive, and I'm grateful to be alive. And looking back, I realized like how. Up that situation was I, I didn't care about my life whatsoever and i let negative influences impact me dude my whole life dude
Um, yeah, my mom, for one, you know, always, uh, you know, I remember going to uh, plastic surgery clinics with her when I was um, a little kid. And she always told me that my uh, my ears were uh, misshapen and that uh, my nose wasn't going to be small forever and I was going to have to get a uh, surgery and other stuff, dude. Like, she severely impacted my self-image and perception about myself. But, um, you know, it is, what it, it is what it is, dude. Like, we all have... Uh, you know, some of us are dealt with bad cards, but, you know, I don't try to dwell on it or um, really think about it, but it, it does need to be addressed, the uh, harsh circumstances I was under at that time. Um, I can't even believe I'm talking about this, but... Um, His life is actually so tragic. I mean, extremely tragic, basically, right? If what he's saying is real, it's probably one of the most tragic stories I've ever I've ever covered on my channel. Um, definitely makes me seem in a new light and feel very bad for him. Ooh. I mean, I guess he could be lying, but I don't know. He seems pretty sincere to me here, right? Prime case of the dangers being chronically online. I mean, in this case, not really, though. The problem was not... His mother is not his, his, e, his e mother. It's just his real mother. His biological mother that gave him meth. I mean, it's, he was chronically online, and that made that was bad for him as a result because, like... I guess according to him he was you know doing meth and then making all these videos and like having a psychotic breakdown and the drugs fueled that so i mean but that probably never would have happened if not for his biological mom according to him anyway yeah um and then with the whole other stuff the incel stuff um the internet forums the whatever the youtubers i don't know and then, um i'm proud to say i'm not an incel or believe any of those hateful ideologies i'm absolutely against racism misogyny um, I don't condone any of that stuff, and I don't know, after leaving those, uh, <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying, um, a lot, I'm just going off the top of my head, like, I'm actually genuine, I don't want to, like, be one of those weirdos who do, like, a script and cry on camera, it's, it's not me, but um, I, I was very hesitant to make this video, I didn't really want to show myself to you guys, um, or uh, be tied to this, I wanted to just forget about this, but, you know, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, after leaving the uh, those communities and deleting all the music, uh, I have gained morals and I know what's right from wrong. And I realize now how f up the whole situation was. And you know, I did stuff. I did a lot of stuff, and it's uh, it's horrible. I look back and I'm like, what's I doing with my life, man? I was. <sighs> hey, man, it happened, and that was me. But I just got to keep my eyes looking forward, you know happened happened but i'm really trying to get better i'm going down I, i'm doing therapy i'm really guys can we talk about how much of a james sapphire is he was based he was the base god of mewing of bone smashing of racism of sexism of homophobia and what did he do he betrayed us he betrayed us he stopped working out not getting a pump in anymore and now all he does is talk about his his his, his mom that gave him meth disgusting like i mean obviously i'm joking or am i no, I'm joking. Or am I? No, I'm joking. Or am I? I do feel bad for him, though. <laughs> I do feel bad for him. He should keep doing music. Yeah, I like the music. It was good. I know a guy whose mom dosed him with LSD at age 12. Turned out shockingly normal, though he does have a nervous tick. Me too. Trying to be a more down-to-earth person and think about what happened. Um, I'm going to be doing psychedelics eventually. Find myself, you know, get rid of this negative self-image and my inferiority complex and... Um, you know, substances aren't the answer to everything, um, and it's something I'm thinking about. I don't know how long I'm going to wait, but I'm definitely not in a good mindset right now to even make any life-altering choice like that. And, um, I'm just going to keep doing therapy and really do self-improvement. I'm meditating, and I don't know, I've seen a huge change in myself. I really have, and I'm grateful. I'm grateful to be here. I'm grateful for the people that have helped me and supported me, and all the people online who have given me words of encouragement. Um, I appreciate all of the... Uh, people who have given me religious advice and life advice, whatever, man, like I'm so grateful for it. And I love hearing from you guys. I love talking to you all. And um, yeah, it's something I'm really appreciative of. And I know there's going to be like a lot of people who like uh, hating on me and stuff. And but you know what? It's the internet, dude. And the trolls don't really affect me. Like, you know, I have a normal life. Like I don't have time to really worry about this stuff, but I did feel it needed to be addressed. And, um, but yeah, this is me, dude. I ain't getting no surgery. I'm uh, a normal guy. Okay, so he didn't get surgery. Made at some all. bad choices, had some bad people affect me, but you know, it's over with now. They, they can't hurt me anymore. 
Um, I'm away from all those people. And my friends have been here to support me and help me and let people know the truth. And I'm really grateful for you guys. Like you guys mean the world to me. Um, well, give me your Xanax when I was 10. Why do all you guys have parents that are giving you drugs? When I was when I was seven, my mom gave me a PlayStation Two and the PlayStation. Actually, sorry, when I was five, my mom got me a PlayStation Two and the PlayStation Three came out. What's worse? What do you think is worse, mom? What do you think is worse? Humiliating me when all my friends were playing Call of Duty Black Ops and I was the one loser who couldn't play Black Ops until 2012, two years after it came out, and I was a loser. And everybody already had Black Ops 2 by then, and I just had one. Okay. Mom. The PS2 is better than the PS3. Okay, the, the, the library, I agree. I agree on principle. But it's about feeling left out, okay? Mom, why do you think I'm a incel loser now? Because you got me a PS2. You I'm sorry, Mom. I'm sorry. I love you. I can't joke about that too much. You bet! I'm sorry. I can't. I love my mom. I'm sorry. But why the PS? I like the PS2. To be clear, I have no. I don't have no regret. I have no regrets about it. Looking back, okay, I wouldn't want a different console. I had Ratchet and Clank. I had Jack and Daxter. I had Sly Cooper. I had 007 Nightfire. These are all amazing games. I had Gran Turismo 3, a spec. I think it was the one, uh, or maybe that was four. I don't know, but it was great, and it was excellent. It was excellent. It, you know, I had a really good time playing video games with my little brother, but I couldn't play online with my friends until I was 11. <laughs> until I was 11 all I had before that was like a Batman and Crash Bandicoot okay I'm sorry I'm sorry it's fine I'm not an incel I've grown out of it I have a PS5 now it's fine I actually don't I, I, I actually don't have a PS5 now um I don't I just don't I do have a boyfriend though his name is Wendigoon she also shot me up with drugs and would do blood sacrifices on me. You guys with the with the crazy moms. What the f is going on? Am I the only guy who had a normal mother? Um, I don't know if I left anything out, but I don't know. I don't really remember much from that time. I was in very heavy psychosis, seeing hallucinations, and I had no introspective or no social awareness. I didn't know that the choices I made was going to affect my uh, future and my current present life. You know, uh, by now everyone's already in my life. Like all my friends, family has already seen those videos, but um, it's not really something that matters to me. I don't really, like, I care about my life, dude, but at this point I really have nothing to lose. I've already accepted what's happening and what's going to come. And, you know, it is what it is, dude. Like, I don't even feel like that person at all. Like, I cannot say the name. Or, uh, I can't even really look at the camera because I dissociate and I don't know who I am. It truly hurts, and I'm trying hard not to be emotional about this, but, um, you know, this was a thing that took a part of my life for um, many years, dude, my whole teenage years. Like, I was robbed, and I was robbed in my life, and just because I listened to some people online and made some choices that negatively impacted my uh, whole situation. Mm -hmm. It really sucks, you know? It really sucks, but it's not something I need to dwell on, and after this video, I'm just going to let things lie and rest. People can believe whatever they want to believe. I know who I am as a person. I know my truth. I know that I am nothing like what those people describe me as. Um, you know, I'm not gay. I'm not any of those things. I'm not a racist person. I'm totally against any negative energy harbored against anyone for their genetics or who they are, you know? Um, yeah, I don't know, dude. These um, YouTubers, they really aren't good people. They're just... Uh, Trying to make a quick buck, get subscribers, get views, whatever. I don't really know. I don't really care. Pay attention to that stuff or read the comments much. Um, but yeah, uh, people can do whatever they want to. Um, it's on them. Um, well, it seems like he has an intention to get offline, which is probably for the best. Bro shared with us his mistake and wisdom. Appreciate it, bro. I've been stressing over my look so much. This is over my eyes more. Hope you do better, James. It makes me sick that those people who cause us haven't faced any consequences. I'm glad you're doing better. I'm going to use your story to learn this, to be less self-conscious about my looks. <laughs> dude, I can't wait to see how your music evolves. So we're all cheering for you, dude. You're allowed to grow, especially if it's into a more enlightened person. As long as you keep growing, the better person will be supporting you. Keep doing what makes you happy. You've got a lot to offer this world. Glad to see you doing better. Just hope all the you went through doesn't keep you from making music. You really have do have talent, so I hope you don't give up on that. 
He said, we will see. So maybe that means he's going to get some, some more music done. Well, you know what? I hope he, uh, I hope he, I hope he genuinely changes his life around, you know? Uh, it seems to me uh, his story could be credible, you know? He was in a bad position. He didn't really care about his life. He just wanted to be a degenerate internet troll. He made himself look like a crazy person for that. Um, it's totally plausible to me that that happened. Um, and uh, hopefully he can, he can move on from that in his adulthood. I, I would guess he's probably by this point uh 19 20 21 something like that um he's you know he's right around right around my age the age of many of my viewers as you guys can imagine probably having your entire teenage life out there when you're really young can be a negative thing especially especially when um <laughs> especially when a bunch of it is apparently lies especially when a bunch of it is apparently lies uh and and satire but yeah I feel bad for this guy, but I hope I hope I hope he moves on with his life. I wish him the best. I think it's probably all I can say about this. Godspeed, James Sapphire. And be sure to become a member. For five dollars a month, they get the members only podcasts and exclusive videos that only members get. Thanks so much for your support. No,